Hey there everyone, Rajat here back again with yet another video about Angular and in today's video we are going to learn about the architecture of Angular. So we are going to have a look at what comprises of the major blocks and pieces in Angular land and how Angular makes them work. Let's get back to our stack blitz Angular example. Okay, so this is a fresh example I have created for you to demonstrate things. So from the very start, there are three major blocks in Angular. Those are ng modules or you can say Angular modules, then Angular components and then we have got services and the dependency injection. So these are the three major blocks of any Angular application. So it all starts with an ng module. So every Angular application is bound to have a angular module and this angular module is known as the root module and this root module can contain components and services so you can say that any angular module is an overarching entity which contains services directives pipelines and components right so directives and pipelines are also some minor blocks and pieces but these are the subordinate parts. So you can say that the ng module or the angular module is the container and this ng module provides a context for the services and the components to execute in. Okay, so think of it like a logical grouping. So if you are creating some part of the application and there are certain components and services that fall under an umbrella term, you can create an ng module. Then you can contain all the related components and services in that module. Similarly, you can create various modules for various features. These modules can have various components and related services. And then these modules can interact with each other. The interaction and the collection of such modules can make up your application. So it is more like that. Okay. So we have already established that Angular uses TypeScript, right? So when you create an ng module, Angular has to have a way of identifying what is actually an Angular module and what is not. How Angular does this? So we have got this notation or you can say annotation, right? So ng module is the annotation Angular uses in order to demarcate any class as an Angular module. Okay. So this is how Angular compiler can actually spot the ng modules that are being used in your application. So in this ng module clause, you specify certain things right off the bat, you specify the components that are part of this particular module. So this goes inside the declarations array. So we have got app component and counter component and these are the members of this app module. Then we have got exports. Now these are the components that your ng module or angular module is exporting. So it is more like a declaration to the angular framework that other modules can use this component in case they want to okay otherwise if the component is not listed here other ng modules will not be able to use it then is the imports part so here you can include other modules now when you include other modules all the components that are being exported from such module can be used in your angular module so we can use classes from browser module and form module in our app module now okay then we have got providers in your Angular application, you are going to have some services. We are going to talk more about services in the later part of this video. So when you create a service, all of your components from that module can access their service in case you specify that service in the providers array. So that service becomes available for all of the components that are in your ng module. Then we have got this bootstrap property now this bootstrap property specifies the root component which will be responsible for booting up the entire angular application so this sits at the root so 
एंगुलर एप्लीकेशन इज मोर लाइक अरारकी ऑफ व्यूज ओके सो दिस बूट स्टेप थिंग स्पेसिफाइज द रूट ऑफ दट हेरारकी ओके सो एप कंपोनेंट विल बिकम द रूट ऑफ द हेरारकी ऑफ एंगुलर कंपोनेंट ओके एंड देर कैन बी ओनली वन सच एंगुलर मॉड्यूल विच इज गोइंग टू हैव दिस क्लॉज सो इफ यू हैव गॉट लाइक ट्वेंटी मॉड्यूल्स इन योर एप्लीकेशन देर कैन बी ओनली वन मॉड्यूल विच कैन हैव दट बूट स्टेप क्लॉज एंड दैट पर्टिकुलर मॉड्यूल विल बी नोन एज द रूट मॉड्यूल एंड दिस रूट मॉड्यूल विल बी कंटेनिंग द रूट कंपोनेंट ओके सो दिस इज द बूट स्टेप कंपोनेंट फॉर आर एप्लीकेशन नाउ वी नो हाउ एंगुलर आइडेंटिफाइज एंड बूट्स द एंगुलर मॉड्यूल नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एंगुलर कंपोनेंट सो दे आर the combination of some ui controls along with some business functionality that is grouped under one roof and it represents some individual functionality in your entire application so let's suppose you want to create a button and on the button press something happens you can create a component out of this functionality and this can represent a logical unit in your entire application so you can create a component out of it similarly you can create various components then you are going to mount these components as a tree then the angular application you know puts everything together and shows you the entire ui now in order to make a component you have to use this notation it is similar to the notation we have seen for ng modules right so there are certain things that go inside this component annotation so selector is the thing which you can use in the html files so let's suppose i want to use this my app so i can do something like this my app and this is how you can use the selector property to call your component in the template file then we have get template url this specifies the template file for this particular angular component right so your component has some business logic which is contained in the class file the ts file okay which is you know mostly identified as this file and it also has a template file which is the combination of some html and some angular constructs and directives and things like that so this template file is merged with this business logic file and then angular creates a working component out of it so it actually injects the data from this particular business logic class into this particular template class then it creates everything puts everything together resolve things for you and then it shows you the final data as the output here okay so all the html part is going to come from this template file then we have got a style url similarly so again you are going to have some styles for your html components as well right so all the styles related to your components html go inside this particular style url file so this is how you can specify a component now let's move on to services and dependency injection so let's suppose you have two components master component and a detail component now both of these components have some sort of common functionality where they have to fetch the data from the back end and this functionality is similar between the two components now you can write the similar functionality in both of these components then you will get duplicacy of code and then you will get two code bases where you need to change things instead of doing this thing you can actually take this code and create a service out of it so that both of these component can actually leverage the same code so when you have got a clear case of sharing business logic among components you might want to create an angular service now this angular service is you know again specified by this injectable annotation so this is how you can create a service just annotate any normal class with this injectable annotation and then you have got a service so as soon as angular sees this injectable clause it creates instances or instance of this demo service depending upon what sort of uh, you know injection mode you have chosen so there are a couple of modes like uh, whether you want to create a singleton 
class and you know share between the entire application or you want create separate instances of this particular class for individual components and things like that but we are going to talk more about it in the services demo but yeah it can create a singleton of this class or it can create many instances of this class and then when any component demands to use this particular service the angular dependency injection framework takes an instance and provide it to that particular component so that that component can actually use this service so let's suppose i want to use this demo service in my app component dot ts how can i use that in order to use it i have to create a constructor okay and then here i have to write this private then demo service okay and demo service okay so this is how i can get an instance of demo service from the dependency injection framework and then dependency injection framework will figure out how to you know provide my app component with an instance of this demo service so that my app component can use functions from this particular demo service service okay so now we know a little bit about ng modules angular components angular services and the angular dependency injection or di framework so this much knowledge is pretty quintessential for any angular developer out there now you have the proper basics in place on the top of which you can build an entire empire of your angular knowledge so in case you have any doubt related to the subject matter do not hesitate from asking your doubts in the comment section i read every single comment that you guys leave on this channel make sure you follow codelet.dev on whatever social media you are on and also subscribe to codelet on youtube i see you guys over in the next video